Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. I, I know I saw uh, some of you a short while ago uh, in the court appearance for People versus Harvey Weinstein. Uh, we are moving forward uh, in that matter. Uh, we intend to retry it. And for those of you who are in court, saw that uh, the court set sort of a window uh, for a trial in the in the in the fall. And so we are already moving forward with that matter. Uh, having conversations with survivors, centering their well-being, and pursuing justice. Uh, you know, so I, I'm not going to hear nor would I you know, talk about conversations that I've, I've had with survivors, uh, but I would point you to the court proceedings today uh, where um, uh, was, uh, one of the survivors was acknowledged was in the courtroom and um, there were things put on the record about uh, about um, her specifically and sort of uh, I won't go beyond the court record, but uh, we are doing here what we do in, you know, all of our matters, which is to focus on our survivors, um, center them, uh, and as was said in court, uh, we are uh, planning to proceed to trial in, in, in early September. So, you know, the, the, the Court of Appeals decision certainly restricts us from using evidence that was used last time, uh, but uh, to be clear, uh, we uh, believe that we have a strong case, uh, and again, I'll refer you to the court proceedings when excerpts from the Court of Appeals decision uh, were read about uh, witnesses' testimony and how it was unequivocal. Uh, and so we look forward to uh, having a new day in court uh, and the Court of Appeals decision not being the last word or chapter on this.